Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Devon Tread 2 and this happens to be the murder edition. Uh, why is it the murder edition? Well, that's because of the colors. Well, so let's just get straight into this. Um, if you're familiar with this watch, then you probably know enough about it that I just, you just want to see it being shown off. If not, let me explain to you. This is a high-end electromechanical watch. This is basically uh, high-end quartz. Devon is a company that builds watches here in Southern California, even though the guy that started it, Scott Devon, is uh, from Michigan, I believe. Um, and they have a manufacturer um, that produces especially this watch, the Tread 2, um, nearby where I live here in uh, Los Angeles, out in Pasadena. Um, and they use a lot of um, parts makers here more and more. So this is very much kind of a made in the USA watch. I think there are some Asian elements and things like that, but um, I know that they're working towards making as much of the stuff um, in-house. The Tread 2 is the second watch they came out with, and the Tread 1 came out, I want to say, in about 2010. And it was kind of an impressive timepiece. It used these belts. It had three different belts. Um, and we reviewed it on a blog to watch, and uh, we recommend that you go ahead and look at that review um, and some of the videos on it that we've had on YouTube here. There's, those were quite popular. The Tread 2 is a smaller watch because the Tread 1 was pretty big. Um, and instead of having three belts, it has two. Devon sort of wanted it to be their their daily wear watch. So it was where the, the Tread 1, I guess you could wear it daily, um, was a mixture of bold design as well as, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> comfort. Um, it, you know, it, you had to mix the two and sort of decide for yourself what was good. I'm showing you the back here where it says... Um, actually, Red Rum, which is Murder Backwards, um, very similar to how it was in The Shining. I don't know. I'm trying to play with the light there. You can see it. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can get a good glimpse of it there. They have like a, a crystal over the metal case back, which has um, the Red Rum on there, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, some people think the, the murder name is cool. Others are like horrified. They're like, why would they call the watch the murder? Um, I mean, it's not like dripping in red. It, it's black. It, you know, it's a DLC black steel case um, with some red axing and, and things on there. But they're, you know, they're just trying to play with it and make it fun, which I appreciate. It doesn't offend me, um, but it is interesting to see how some people are offended by watch names. So, one of the most important things about the Tread 2, aside from the fact that it's smaller and more wearable, is that because it removes the seconds. Um, tread the seconds belt it's quieter one of the problems with the tread one and even though you could turn the seconds off is that it um it doesn't tick exactly but it makes this noise every single time the belt moves which was kind of loud and the tread two is is less loud um for two reasons one it only moves once a minute rather than every second and two it has a sapphire crystal whereas the tread one had um had basically this this fancy polycarbonate kind of crystal that wrapped around the top and didn't provide as much sort of soundproofing um, or sound you know dampening as, as this one does. So <clears throat> even though it does have only two treads, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, the battery is supposed to last for I think a month, about a month if used properly. Um, but you, I think they recommend that you quote unquote turn it off each night. So right now it's on. So let me tell you some of the things it does. Right here, this is a crown. It's not really a crown. It's a pusher, and then this little joystick that moves up and down um, is how you control it. One of the things I want to say is when the Tread 2 first came out, it was a completely different design. Um, Devin actually took it, prototyped it, and then decided, you know what? We don't we don't like it enough. We want to go back to the drawing board, and then they came out with something totally different, which um, with this Tonneau style case, which is about 44 millimeters wide, reminds a lot of people of Richard Mille, which I think is on purpose. Um, I like it. It's nice. I think that there's some refinement that could be made to the case, um, even though it looks cool. So, for example, you can see here um, this is the uh, the joystick. And if you look right there, you see there, that's pretty sharp. It doesn't just look sharp. That is. And if you put your finger there, you catch it the wrong way, that's like a fish hook. Um, also, right here, there's these two pieces of metal that go over the lug. And you know what? They're kind of sharp as well. This is the sharpest right here. Um, I mean, I think you can see there in the light just how sharp it is. It literally is a fish hook. I mean, if you want, if this thing like pulled off, you could you could kill a man with it. Maybe that's why it's called the murder. Anyways, so to turn the watch off, you sort of hold you hold this down, I think, and then now you can see the treads moving. And it'll go to 12 o'clock. Or actually 1210. You know what I just did? I turned into chronograph mode. It has a chronograph, surprisingly enough. Um, how do we start that? I admit that I, I need to look at the uh, the instructions more. 
pretty sure the 1210 is the chronograph mode. Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so now it's apparently the chronograph is starting. I think so. You know, even if it's not, it's just cool to see. Okay, apparently I, t I put it back in the time mode. Um, okay, putting that down. Oh, now I, now I activated the seconds. So you can see that if you want to see the seconds, you can. So if you're curious what the seconds are, there it is. And let me just show you kind of, I'm put, I'm gonna take the, the, uh, the watch out of the screen for a second, put up the, the, the microphone so you can hear it. So imagine that louder. That's what, kind of what the tread one sounded like. So I'm putting it back in the time mode. I pull it up. Okay, that's off mode. Off mode is battery saving mode. When it's in battery saving mode, it's still telling the time in the background. And then it goes back to telling the time, which is quite nice. Um, so it has the time. You can see the seconds. It has a chronograph, no date, but that's a lot. I think they designed a lot in there. So how do you charge this thing? Well, it has an induction charger. So basically there's no ports or anything like that. You don't have to stick it a USB, but you, you set the thing down on a base. Um, and it charges from the base. There's also a travel charger. The, the good thing is that you don't have to plug anything into the watch to have it charge, but the bad news is you actually have to like physically set it down on something that's rather large. Um, it would be nice to have on the base like a like a charge indicator to show how much battery there is. <coughs> Excuse me. Or show maybe how long it suggests for you to sit there and charge it. Um, it does. It's it's pretty simple. But again, Devin had to sort of engineer all the stuff from scratch, so I think they're getting better with it. So they call it the tower. It's like a, it literally looks like a tower. It's kind of integrated into the box, um, and you put it down the charge on there. So it's pretty simple, you know. I think I think for the money, it would be safe to expect something a little bit more sophisticated on the charging front, and perhaps um, something that's a little bit more compact for a travel charger. But again, they had to do all this stuff themselves for a relatively small production of items. And I think that it's getting better because every time I see their stuff, they're improving on it a little bit more and more. I, I genuinely like it. I haven't even put this watch on yet. Um, and again, this is significantly smaller um, than the original one. There's a pretty interesting buckle as well there. You can see it looks like looks like a little mini, like with these little pieces there, like a little mini like Batman helmet thing. So there is, that's the Tread 2 on the wrist. And as you can see, um, for those of you that know the Tread 1, this is definitely a lot smaller. I mean, completely different shape. It's very wearable. If you like this design and you want to wear this on a daily basis, it's fine. Um, compared to the Tread 1, I haven't found the sound of the belts at all um, annoying. I found them to be, you know, fine. I haven't noticed it. It's, it's a light watch. It's comfortable. Um, reading the time is easy. I'm not sure if it has loom or not. I don't think this, this model has loom. Um, loom, I think they could do loom, but it'd be, it'll be a little bit difficult to paint, um, loom on there and have it stay a long time. You can also see elements of the movement there, the motors. It's a little bit difficult on this murder edition because everything's black, but you do have a nice three-dimensional view there into the into the uh, motor, and you can see the uh, or into the you know movement area. You can see the one-step motors that are moving everything along. It's 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 well done. It's legible. It's cool. It's something not that many people are going to have, and I think it definitely shows that Devon is is consistently improving what they're doing, and that's something that that I appreciate. The Devon Tread One, I'm sorry, the Devon Tread Two Murder um, is about ten thousand bucks, which is about uh, I want to say seven or eight thousand dollars less than the starting price of the Tread One. So this is a less expensive watch. It's interesting, but it's definitely a luxury item, um, and I definitely enjoy wearing it because I think it's cool, it's modern, and you know, it definitely sort of reflects my techie personality. So you can see the full review of the Devon Tread 2 on a blog to watch. Thanks.